it's an image of the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723, exactly how it was some 4.6 billion years ago. It features some easily identifiable galaxies as the center of attraction and a whole colony of sparkling elements littered around them. Well, those aren't just any elements, so what are they? They're actually galaxies, galaxies that were invisible to our eyes and the ultra-modern cameras of all the telescopes that existed before now. But thanks to the power optics hardware and the gravitational lensing techniques programmed into the James Webb Telescope, it was able to capture this iconic scene which sits 5.12 billion light years from Earth. It's hard to even fathom. It's astounding. It's a historic moment for science and technology, for America and all of humanity. Those were the words of United States President Joe Biden when he caught a glimpse of one of the first images shot by a $10 million telescope deep into space. Over the last 25 years, scientists at NASA have been hard at work developing this next-generation spyglass. The result of all that relentless hard work is the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced and most expensive space telescope in the history of mankind. Since arriving in space, this rare gadget has taken thousands of amazing images of the world beyond. To say that scientists are blown away by its performance would be an understatement because by all accounts, the President of the United States of America is said to be impressed by these images. You may be wondering what exactly they look like. Don't worry, we'll show you. The photo currently displayed on your screen is unofficially the first ever taken by the James Webb Telescope. It portrays a red giant star, 2 mass J1755042 plus 6551277, located at about 1,988 light years away from our Earth. At first glance, it looks just like another picture of stars that we see regularly in documentaries, movies and cosmic series. But the buzz around it suggests otherwise and many space watchers have wondered why that's the case. After all, NASA has successfully launched and operated several telescopes and space observatory equipment in the past, from the Galileo space probe to the twin Voyager spacecraft and more recently, the Hubble Space Telescope. The list of iconic NASA-sponsored telescopes is endless. But the truth is, none of them can match the performance and capacity of the James Webb Telescope. In fact, scientists predict that all of the impressive achievements and discoveries made by past telescopes and other space observatory gadgets will be surpassed by the James Webb Telescope. And if the first image that was released is anything to go by, the potential of this $10 billion spyglass is certainly encouraging. To put things into perspective, the James Webb Telescope has an infrared range that's 100 times more sensitive than the Hubble Space Telescope. Webb is an enormous engineering masterpiece. To construct it, engineers drafted and implemented a complex design that combined 18 hexagonal foldable mirrors to form one giant mirror. This concept was adopted to ensure that the telescope could fit into the spacecraft that would transport it to space. More than 1,200 scientists, engineers and technicians from 14 countries contributed to this project and after decades of hard work, the telescope was ready to set sail. The launch suffered a week's delay due to bad weather conditions and the need for additional technical checks. But eventually, on the 25th of December 2021, scientists gave the all clear for the launch to happen. And the powerful Ariane 5 spaceship was tasked with delivering this special package to space. With hundreds of scientists watching on and praying for the safe trip of their biggest invention yet to deep space, the Ariane 5 rocket climbed high into the clouds with force to deliver the James Webb Telescope to space. From then on, the Webb began its voyage to the second Lagrange point, which is its final destination. That journey lasted all of 30 days. And afterwards, about 300 specialists and scientists began the process of calibrating and activating the components of the telescope. As you can imagine, it wasn't an easy task. The web is about as tall as a three-story building and covers an area equivalent to a parking lot for 20 cars and to program it with a precision of several nanometers, thousands of times thinner than a human hair, is almost unimaginable, but somehow scientists managed to pull it off. In February 2021, after confirming that the 90 cables and 107 components aboard the telescope were fully integrated, scientists announced that the James Webb Telescope was functional. 
To confirm this new status, they instructed the telescope to take a picture of the HD 84406 star located in the constellation Ursa Major. This trial assignment helped scientists ascertain whether the near-infrared camera or NERCAM was in perfect working condition. Once this was confirmed, the James Webb Telescope went on a spree, capturing over 1,500 images using the 10 available NERCAM detectors. The capturing streak lasted for over 25 hours, with the images totaling around 54 gigabytes of data. The end result was a large mosaic featuring the signatures of all the individual mirror segments on the telescope. At the end of the experiment, scientists ruled that the telescope was functioning above the required level. But that was only the beginning of what was to come from the impressive spyglass. Next, scientists proceeded to fine-tune other components before delegating another task to the telescope to evaluate these components. The task this time was to observe a nameless star within our galaxy, which is simply identified through the catalogue number that's displayed on your screen. 2 mass J1755-4042 plus 655-1277 there isn't too much to learn about this nameless star that is located 2,000 light years away from us. It doesn't exactly have a superpower except that it shines 16 times brighter than our Sun. To optimize the brightness of the star, the James Webb Telescope applied a red filter during the capturing process, producing a stellar view for space watchers who had waited all their lives to get a premium view of space and all the elements that dwell in it. But little did they know, they were in for more surprises. On the 11th of July 2022, President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris welcomed some unusual guests to the White House as they unveiled the first scientific image captured by the James Webb Telescope. The visiting entourage, which included NASA Administrator Bill Nelson, watched with excitement as Joe Biden unveiled the most iconic space photo of all time. According to NASA, this image was taken over a period of 12 and a half hours and so far, it remains the deepest and highest resolution infrared image of our universe to date. Obviously dazzled by the quality of the image and the overall report he received about the project, Joe Biden said, This telescope embodies how America leads the world, not by the example of our power, but the power of our example. You must be wondering what this image looks like and what exactly makes it special. Well, let's just say it's a rare sight that we weren't expecting to see just yet, but the James Webb Telescope showed it to us as an early surprise. It's an image of the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723, exactly how it was some 4.6 billion years ago. It features some easily identifiable galaxies as the center of attraction and a whole colony of sparkling elements littered around them. Well, those aren't just any elements, so what are they? They're actually galaxies, galaxies that were invisible to our eyes and the ultra-modern cameras of all the telescopes that existed before now. But thanks to the power optics hardware and the gravitational lensing techniques programmed into the James Webb Telescope, it was able to capture this iconic scene which sits 5.12 billion light years from Earth. Images like this emphasize the capacity of the James Webb Telescope to travel way back in time and reveal the mysteries that followed the Big Bang. Just 24 hours later, after that iconic event at the White House, NASA was back serving us more breathtaking pictures taken by Webb. Beginning from the cosmic cliffs in the Carina Nebula, which looked like a scene from a fairy tale movie, located some 7,500 light years away from the Earth, it's described as a region in space where dozens of stars are born and destroyed. To get this exquisite shot, the James Webb Telescope had to combine its near-infrared and mid-infrared light with the hopes of giving scientists a new look at the ongoing activities in the area. The next image showed footage of a dying star 2,500 light-years away, officially known as the Southern Ring Nebula. Catalogued as the NGC 3132, this image was shot using two cameras aboard the James Webb Telescope, and as it was with the other photos that we've shown you so far, the picture also featured several twinkling galaxies described by scientists as photobombers. And lastly, NASA unveiled the mosaic of Stefan's Quintet. As the name suggests, it's a group of five interacting galaxies. Before now, the most publicized appearance of this special quintet was in the holiday-themed movie It's a Wonderful Life. However, the James Webb Telescope gave scientists a more concentrated view 
of this gigantic group. So far, this mosaic is the biggest image captured by Webb's highly sophisticated cameras. It's a combination of 1,000 individual images measuring more than 150 million megapixels. But despite all this flurry of amazing pictures, scientists insist that the main task of the James Webb Telescope is to hunt down potentially habitable planets and extraterrestrial life. And it has been specially equipped to do so. Surely, if it continues in this stead, humanity might only be a few years away from discovering another civilization within our universe. Be sure to check out this next video over here.